Hello friends. So this is the ventilation system. This is for the boat 2018. But now I have new ideas. And this was one there and one there, one going in and one going out. And they were in the same place. But tonight I've been writing here a little bit. XLX ventilation system. At, at all times, at least one part of the ventilation channel is like a tube. Must be above the water line during a capsize by a good margin. Take the dynamics of wave action in consideration as inertia may get the water line out of phase with the waves. Right. So this first book. And then the ventilation saying if a big wave with green water comes in, an overflow tank of large volume is important as the amount of breaking waves of green water will otherwise overload a small system. The overflow tank should have a U-shaped water seal to prevent fresh air from escaping. Because fresh air coming in, and we don't want that to go out in the drain. Three, the openings of the incoming and outgoing air should be separated by a good distance. It is best if they can be in each end of the wood. That way, outgoing air will, rot, will not remove the fresh air before it has come to good use. So, now I will take one end in the dead front, another end in the back front, so that circulates all through the boats, you know. So that's a good thing. During several decades, since 1976, I use about 32 millimeter in the diameter. In strong winds, there is steady flow of air, much more than can pass from my nostrils. They, they are like here. You see they are much smaller than this one. And here they go in and out, so there's not continuous flow, but in one of these coming in and one of them going out, it's much more good. So now I spend a lot of money on these things. And when we start, I'm going to start with the forward one. So up here comes the coal, and then it goes down in the big tank below here, and it's got the drainage to go into the center box up here. That's a good thing. And then from this tank, the air goes out the loop to the other side. And on the other side, it follows the hull and that's out there in the bottom here. So whatever it is, some, nothing water is going to happen except what's in this one. And actually, since it's a small diameter, it will not be much. And that will drain into here. And this space is not connected with a sleeping room. And this text, I will put out as a comment on my YouTube channel, so you can read more. And this is just the beginning, so you've got plenty of time to look at this. So no panic, just take it easy. Thank you, Peter. Hello, now I'm going to try to make a little drawing. So here is about the boat. And here is the back to deck. And here is the cool. Here comes the air, goes in. Goes down into this big tank. And here goes the drainage. Like a U-tube. Goes up here, so it's like a water trap here. And then because this tube go to the other side. Here's the center board. And then this tube go down here. Comes up here. So, however it's healing, always be one part of this above the water line. Normally it's like here. So there's no problem. And if it's here, 
Well, there's one opening here and one opening here. So one of the water now, if it's here. Well, water can only come up here. And if it's here. And this is about the water line. So this is the principle. Always one part of this about the water line. So, well, this is not Da Vinci drawing or Picasso drawing or Van Gogh, but you know, it <laughs> maybe it helps a little bit. Thank you.